Okay, this is what I, my hands look like so far of me cleaning. Y'all see my hands at first when I first started. But I haven't really cleaned up this hand. I've been working on this hand, getting all the cells. Just remember how they look. This is the easiest way of taking the brittle pad and some soap or some Ajax or Comet and some hot water. So if you want to um, get this off, this is the best way to do it. Take this some water, let it run like this. So come on, normally had to sit up here underneath it and it's going under it like this. Going back and forth, taking up my knuckles. Don't go too hard because you don't want to scrape your hand, your, your skin off your hand. You just want to take this ceiling off. This roughage right here takes this off. See how easy this stuff coming off? It's the easiest way of taking it off. You can use a razor blade, but it's more dangerous. You know? And if you like me, you get impatient. You want to hurry up, get the shit off so you can go handle your business. Tonight, I'm going to soak the little bit that I have in some Vaseline and some gloves just to see if it works. Because I know I'm not going to be over here all night long trying to scrape this off. But I got the majority of it off. Like at least 70% off this off my hand. And that wasn't just not even in an hour. Of just sitting here scraping and going like this. Taking this stuff off. You know. One by one. I was just hitting all the big rough spots. Now all I got these little bitty spots on my hands like this. You know. Some of this, if you want, like I said, you can use a razor blade. This is not recommended, but you can flick this stuff off. See how it flicks off? But I don't recommend this way. And if you're going to use a razor blade, use it like this. You know, use these in because this is easy to scrape off. You're not going to cut yourself. You know, this here is too sharp. It's going to cut you. Use this part of the end of the blade. That way you can just scrape the stuff off. You know, but when it comes down to it, this is the best way. Some soap. Some hot water. Little old scraping friction with your friction and you in the game. See how all that stuff start coming off going away? Let's see. I'm gonna do this middle finger right here. See how it look? I'm gonna do this middle finger right here for y'all. Then I'm gonna end this video. If y'all like it, thumbs up. See, cut myself with the razor blade earlier. Now look at that. See that? All that shit came out. This is the worst thing ever. Sealing. Use gloves. You don't want to use sealant without foam sealant without gloves because you, you are you're gonna go through this process here but yep that's how we go i'm gonna finish this in this video if you like if it helps you like it share it give me a thumbs up but this is the best way to, to go this is part two how to remove sealant from your hands cure sealant that's been there over over eight hours Mine's been there because I did a Halloween costume and I was making guts. And it wasn't dry. Worst thing ever I did. My hands. But my hands is coming back to life. Compared to what you can look at the first video and see how dirty they were. How contaminated. Part two, 
how to remove sealant without no chemicals to burn you up, gas, isotone, fingernail polish remover, gasoline, you ain't got to use none of that. Steel wool, some soap and water, and some, and you in the game, and some patience, because you're going to want to do like this and want to, even I'm doing a little too rough. But I done got confident and I know how strong my hands is and stuff. So some of y'all can't even do this. For those who can't do this, I feel sorry for you. You go out to find you something else. But this is the best way I could tell you how to get this off. Look at that. My hands is back. I can almost eat with them. Yeah. Peace. Happy Halloween.